What's up guys, it's Smashi from youtube.com forward slash Smashiyashi and I have another video for you today. Now I know it's been a while since I've made one of these, but this one, I promise you, will blow the other ones out of the water. Not really, but it's about radio jingles, so it's, uh, it's gonna be good. Now I know I've had three or four different radio jingle videos, but this one I promise you is much, much, much better. More knowledgeable, and the other ones are gonna suck compared to this one. I guarantee you this video will help you. Now before you begin make sure you do have Adobe Audition. Now you could use other audio editing software such as uh, Audacity but that program doesn't really cut it because we're gonna go straight into the recording editing part the whole shebang and you're gonna love it. So make sure you uh, have your program properly set up by going into edit and audio hardware setup. Input obviously is your microphone. Output could be speakers or headset. And do the same for multi-track view. And when you're ready to record, just click the little record button. Now you'll see that the waveform, uh, depending on your microphone audio levels, it might be lower or higher than mine. But if you see this white line up here, you do not want it to go above that. If it goes above that, this UV meter down here will, bam, peek into the red. Whole thing will be distorted. So if it's too low, you can adjust your mic volume. So if it's too high, you know, lower it. But uh, even if it's too low, too high, and you know, you just want to get it done, there are editing ways and compression and whatnot that you can use that I'm going to show you here today. So when you're ready to record, just simply, bam, whatever you want to say, just do it. So for ex this example, I'm just going to say youtube.com forward slash smashiyashi. youtube.com forward slash smashiyashi. Now, space to stop, highlight, delete, and you'll see that because my PC is much closer to my mic, you'll see these little, you know, it's not just a perfectly straight line. It's got little little edges in the, uh, in the waveform. I call them edges, which is also interfering with the, uh, <clears throat> with my actual sound file. This is what it'll sound like. I don't like that. So I'm going to show you a way to get rid of that. But here's how the audio file s sounds as it is. YouTube.com forward slash Smashiyashi. YouTube. Now, before we even begin getting into all these multi band compressors and stuff that I like to use, I'm just going to clean it up a little bit by highlighting, double clicking both channels, and just going into the adaptive noise reduction. Now, I've set it to high quality mode, so it works a little better. It could be slower depending on how long your file is, but since mine's only a couple seconds, it shouldn't be that long. And now, what I like to do next is, uh, thanks to RadioJinglesVIP.com, they showed me this technique, is to click hold the mouse button and drag it down for the right channel. And then go into uh, up here, Dynamic EQ. And you can see right here that I have it set at 575. A band pass negative one and the gain will be negative one as well click OK and now for the left channel this is at 289 same settings band pass negative one gain negative one and then I'm gonna highlight the whole track and go up to multi band compressor and I like to use both the hiss reduction and the deesser. And then when that's all done, I come in, throw some internet delivery. Depending on your mic volumes, you can adjust this up, down, whatever. But since mine are relatively high, I'm going to set it at negative 1.2. And then finally clean it up with hard limiting. Limit max amplitude to negative 3. Boost input by 2, look ahead time 7, and release time 100. Just click OK, and here's what it'll sound like. YouTube.com forward slash Smashiyashi. 
Sounds much, much, much better. All right, listen again. YouTube.com forward slash Smashiyashi. And now if I just take all that away, tell the difference. YouTube.com forward slash Smashiyashi. It sounds mono, low, and if you're placing it over a music bed, it's just going to sound like total shit. All right? Now, multi-track view, insert. Let's just throw in a random ass music bed. Let's just throw this one in. Oh, whoops, forgot to redo all these. Control shift, shift Z. That's a freaking, that's a lot. All right. So now we right click and insert this into multi-track. Where you at? And you can right click and kind of drag it around. And this is what it's gonna sound like over a music bed. YouTube.com forward slash Smashiyashi. And you can kind of adjust the levels by pulling this down. Which is the volume. If you want to make another one, you know, you can, you know, bring it up. And if you're like me and you kind of screw up sometimes and have all these all over the place and you're like, ah, what do I do? Well, if you take it and just kind of like slingshot it off the screen, it goes away. And that's pretty much it. You know, production, I don't do. I don't do it for a reason. It's annoying, hard, but production is very creative. You know, if you, uh, if you have a creative side to you, you can do production. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video was very helpful to you. If you have any questions, as always, message me. Leave a comment. Uh, if your comment's not a total, you know, idiotic comment, I'll reply to it. And if you're being a troll, I'm going to kill you. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm Smashy from YouTube.com forward slash Smashiyashi. Hope you all take care.